the more modern rig, you're going to take your fluorocarbon, you're going to make a, a circle by pinching it down like that. Make a circle that your hand can fit through decently comfortable. You know, take the loops, stretch it out, do an overhand knot, so to speak. Funnel the closed part through the new opening. So it looks like that. You're going to do that twice. Funnel through again for extra security. Lubricate it. Cinch it down so that you get a decent sized loop. Pull the outsides if you need to to uh, tighten it up. Then obviously this loop would go through the bucktail. It's not going to fit that comfortably because I have really thick line, but that's how you would attach it to the hook. You'd funnel it through and then funnel it back over itself so that it traps and cinches itself down onto it. So it would look like that. From there you're going to go take the line off your spool and you're going to pull it out far enough from like arm to arm, you know, as wide as you can go. I usually like a lot of slack in case I mess up. You can see it the first time, you're literally going to funnel the line through the opening. Go through, you know, pretty comfortable, maybe that long path literally wrap it around towards the front here once, twice, three times, four times and once that cinches down you're going to have a couple loops up here at the top and you're going to funnel them down past over top of the eye funnel it down so that nothing is coiled on itself you're going to switch hands, hold it with your left to leave the coiled part there. You're going to lubricate that part. And you're going to cinch down right there to create a knot at the top. And that part will be cinched down comfortably uh, with the bottom loop here. This part would connect to the bucktail. Top part would go to your your braid um, and then you have the option of fishing like Elias and fishing like uh, Chris from Sea Money Fishing where you don't have a dropper looper it's just a straight jig uh, cooking and fishing does it as well it's just a one hook format bucktail if you want to add a high low rig combo to it you would just obviously do your traditional dropper looper which would be grab both lines, rotate it in a circle, to make a circle. So it'll lay there in your hands. Literally, I'll show you the separation. Hold it together. Take the front front part of the line. There's the front part of the line. Wrap it over the back part once, twice three times, literally spread it, grab it, pull it up, grab it with your teeth, hold the two outsides once it pops through, so grab the top part with your teeth, hold the two outsides like that after you push it up and through, that should cinch down, and make a nice little dropper looper, where your hook can connect in there. And then, like I mentioned, your bucktail's on the bottom. You got your dropper looper, you know, up top in the strike zone. And this part would go to your main line. So, it's a more modern approach. You can fish light tackle with that format rather than doing the uh, old school sinker format. So, some people use the, the high, uh, high low rig to uh, increase the volume of fish. Um, the only difference in the rig that I'm, I'm going to try this year is in 
instead of using a overhand loop for on and off access to change weights, I'm going to tie almost more direct um, and do a non-slip loop so that the bucktail has more pivot flexibility on the knot rather than just being cinched down directly. So I'm going to show you that now to show you, you know, another rig potential. I'm going to show you guys the real deal of how I make this last rig. It's kind of my new thing this year. I'm going to give it a go. Um, I got this idea through um, cooking and fishing. Roger from YouTube He's a very talented gentleman. So all I'm going to do here is make an overhand knot. Make the loop go through. Put your finger in the middle. Cinch it down on your finger. There's the loop. Take the opening down here. Funnel it through the eye of the bucktail. Poke it through. Drop the bucktail. The opening you created up top. See it? Literally going to funnel back through the way it came. Like so. And you're going to just funnel it down as low as you can towards the bucktail eye. So you can see the, uh, the loop there in the new opening. You're going to take your right hand and prevent it from falling any lower. Let's let go of the left, just so you can see it quick. Take the loose strap, wind it around the main line there three, four, five times. Take this guy here, go back through the opening, that shy of it. Take the main line here, pull it through, and you're just going to lubricate the line. And you're basically going to cinch it all the way down as low as you're comfortable going. Cinch it taut so that when it tied at the bottom there, it looks like that, where you have a little bit of breathing room at the bottom for the bucktail to pivot around both sides and have a really wide range of access when you're jigging so that it looks more natural, falling left to right, popping up, you know, in different angles instead of it being completely cinched down and being just restricted to an up and down motion if it's sink, cinched down. So with that loop, you now have, you know, pivot room on both and outer, outer sides, almost like a 360 pivot ability. So with it being cinched down, you're kind of just trapped to the up and down popping motion, which still targets fish, don't get me wrong. I just like the ability for it to be able to swing a little bit and have extra flexibility mobility, maybe a little bit more natural this year, so I like that concept. So at that point you would just kind of cinch down, um, you know, the knot as snug as you'd like to go. You'd want to clip your, your tag right there, and then you'll have the option of now running that up after it's connected. The bucktail has more pivot ability left to right than anything else. Looks pretty floppy, like a like a wounded fish. So I like that option this year. 12 inches up, do the overhand loop, grab it with your two back fingers like that. Makes it real easy. Take the front part of the line, rotate it over the back. One, two, three. Spread it. Reach through. Grab it. Grab it with your teeth. Once you make a little tower here, hold the outer side, cinch it down, then you got your dropper loop right there. Literally run up as high as you want, cut it, tie it to the swivel.